Hey, this is Gavin Kitchens of the Ones Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take a look inside Volume 2 of Old School Tactical. This is the Western Front of World War II from uh, 1944 to 1945. This is just released. It's from Shane Logan. It's a Mark Walker uh, uh, design. Excuse me, it's a Shane Logan design. Mark Walker uh, was a developer on it. It's from Flying Pig. Uh, the Kickstarter just shipped uh, around the world. They got them a little sooner. We had a little hurricane here that... Uh, backed up the port of Miami, which prevented our copies from arriving uh, quite so early as we had hoped. So they finally have arrived, um, and uh, I'm going to tell you, take you on a tour of what you get inside. Uh, it's not quite so heavy. I've, as I recall, Old School Tactical Volume 1 was about an 8-pounder. This one comes in at about 5 pounds. Still a large box. It's going to take up some shelf space. I had to set it that way so you can see the logo, but we'll open it up this way right, so we can see what's inside. Um, the first game was a really great uh, take on World War II. Very good design. Uh, enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting away from the Eastern Front, getting to the Western Front. Get some America. Get some battle here. So we are going to get that open now. The full Kickstarter did arrive. And with that is uh, some add-on uh, expansions, which I'll also cover. Um, uh, probably as a second video, uh, since this is what you'll be getting in the retail box, the rest of the stuff would be uh, expansions. They aren't listed on BGG yet, but they will be eventually, I'm sure. So, let's open the box, see what we get. There we go. All right, I'm just going to have to set this off to the side here, I believe. All right, get a bag with dice. There's uh, four of them, two black, two white. Um, out of the way they work. I love rolling dice. All right, get some unit cards, uh, I believe fate cards are in here as well. I haven't been familiar with the first game. Um, they have cards to show you to tell you the different stats of the units and different abilities that uh, different units on each side has. So they have all that information on the counters. You could have one card out for each type of unit in play. So let's see what we got here. All right. So we see we've got American, we got German. They appear to be intermixed. Not luck cards. I call them fake cards. Sorry, my bad. They are luck cards. Uh, not Andrew Luck who is out for the season. All right, so we'll look at those in a second. So here's our unit cards. And as you see, they give you uh, the different stats, uh, movement, front defense, flank defense, uh, firepower, um, secondary firepower, maximum range, so on and so forth, and their charts. So uh, you can just have, like I said, the ones out that you need for the, for the game. And now we've got ones for the Americans as well. This is not an expansion to Old School Tactical Volume 1, so you can just get this one if you want the Western Front. Uh, or you can get the other if you want the Eastern Front, or you can just have them both. Mm -hmm. uh, luck cards are uh, things you draw that, uh, you know, they do special things that kind of kind of vary up the game a little bit. For instance, Fortune favors the bold. Apply a plus one die modifier to your initiative roll at the beginning of each new turn. So you play that, you'll get that. Um, there's various things you've got here. So you're given a certain number of these, I believe, based on the scenario. Now we have the Old School Tactical Rule Book. Now what I like here is this is not the Volume 2 Rule Book. This is now an Old School Tactical Rule Book. So this will uh, replace Old School Tactical Volume 1, I believe. Uh, it's version 5.5. Um, so it gives you all the rules for the game. It is a nice magazine glossy stock. Lots of uh, visual examples, uh, uh, gameplay examples, so on and so forth. It's 22 pages. All right, we have a Turn sequence on the back. And uh, so the scenarios are in a different book, as you can see in a minute. But they cover everything pretty well. Now, one thing, I normally don't like to see things in advance, but because I got my copy late, uh, other people have already uh, revealed things. And one thing I've learned is that the rule book is apparently much improved over the first one. That's a high quality uh, rule book. I have, again, not read it myself. So. We will see if that's true. Hoping so. The first one was all right, but it did have a few, a few minor issues. Now we got our scenario book here. 
Okay, and this is also the same uh, same stock, maybe a little thinner. Feels like it's a little thinner stock, but we do have our missions. Okay, starting at the beginning, scenario one. I mean, no fluff, just going right into them. Uh, there are 16 scenarios. And a couple of solitaire scenarios. That's awesome. S1, S2. Special solitaire rules. Ooh, baby. That's going to be awesome. So it's, you know, like any war game, it's easy to play both sides against yourself. You know, throw some mitigating factors in there, but uh, that's going to be even easier. So there's 18 scenarios in here, 16 regular and uh, two solitaires. So very nice. All right. Looks like each one takes up a page or so. Scenario book. All right. Reference cards. We have our terrain chart. Infantry combat table. This is very thick. Is it double set? No, excuse me. I know it's a double sided. It's not two pages. It felt very thick, like it was going to open. So it's really good quality, thick cardstock. You will be referring to this quite a bit, and because some of you like to play with other people, ah, two copies of it. So that's pretty cool. Now the counters. It would appear that we have three sheets of counters. So gray is obviously going to be the Germans. Green is the Americans. Big thick counters punch right out pre-rounded as good as the stuff you've seen from lock and load now um, really nice really nice thick thick counters big print big print the uh, the subscript is white it does have a shadow on it so it's a little easier to read you probably can't read it from this but uh, it's it's not too hard on the old eyes all right seem to be well registered I don't see any over, overflow. These might have been shifted down just a little bit, but they're not on the they're not printing on the line, so they're fine. And they may have been designed that way. Who knows? Counter sheet two. We have the Americans and their weapons. Ooh, I'm getting excited. It's gonna be fun. Got different stages of wreck on the back. I mean, just instead of being just the word wreck. Some are on fire, some are smoke. It doesn't matter. It's just when you flip them over, it just says wreck. So your wreck markers. And then your counters, uh, your uh, your markers, I guess you'd call them. These are also uh, all very large, very clear. Uh, clear printing. Uh, I like these map edge markers because you'll end up with a, the big board, which I'm going to try to show. But you got the you, know, you get this big board out, and you're only going to play on this little section, so you can put these map edge markers on on there and it says that's the boundaries of this this mission so so three sheets of counters and then one big board All right and we'll try to set that up and give you a visual of of what that looks like just a second okay so now we're looking at the uh the full board here uh it is huge i mean i don't think i can i can pan out enough to show it that's the one thing about these Old school tactical games is how how big the board is. So, like I was saying before, you may only be playing in this little area here, in which case you'll put those markers down. But uh, it's very nice. Um, one thing they've done here for two players is uh, victory casualties, enemy casualties. Uh, on the previous one, it was all the way around the board, um, and uh, that resulted in in my uh, uh, creating these uh, this off board tracking chart to allow you to move all these markers, especially for solo, because it puts everything in one place. Um, so there's still stuff all over the board, including the terrain chart. Um, uh, your impulse points for each side. There's one over there too, so you're assuming that you're going to be playing on opposite sides of the, lo of the uh, long edges. But um, get your cardinal directions there. So the artwork is really Really nice here. I really like it. But it's big. So, uh, one thing I know they they tried to do, and it was a Kickstarter uh, uh, stretch goal, and uh, it's available to purchase, is they made some uh, kind of similar, kind of similar to this, right? 
they made uh, offboard trackers for uh, for play as well. And I'm just going to show you real quick. This is the this was their solution. It's huge. This is German. The other one's American, right? Uh, they may have them for sale where you can get a Russian one for the other side. The problem is these are huge. So um, and I'm going to unbox these separately in a minute, but. Um, um, I just don't think this is very functional. <laughs> uh, a little bias, I guess, but uh, this is like, I think 18 by 12 or something. So instead of reducing space, it's added a ton of space to your table. I mean, that you need. It takes up a lot more space. Whereas the one I made is both sides on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. So you can just have this one thing off to the side and track both both sides and then this is obviously set for Russian uh, but uh, I would just use this for American as well because it does the same purpose so anyway um, that's enough editorializing on, on that I know uh, you can play with what's on the board and if you're playing two player you're definitely gonna probably do that because everybody will have it on their side but uh, let me uh, we'll stop this and we'll cut back to the reboxing all right so that is what is going to come in Old School Tactical Volume 2. Got the very large, very beautiful map. Uh, just confirm one thing. Yeah, it is single-sided on this one. Uh, one thing I wish they'd done on the old the old version was to make, they give you two of these. And it'd be nice if they just made it double-sided because then it would fit in the box. Because this one actually has room in the box. One of the problems with the first edition too is there's no room in the box for anything. So you get three sheet scanners. You get two copies of the uh, reference card. You get a scenario book with two solo scenarios, yay. A nice rule book, uh, unit cards, luck cards, four dice, and a beautiful box lid. And that is everything you're gonna get. Old School Tactical Volume 2, Western Front, 1944-1945 from Flying Pig Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, bye-bye. Oh!